Classical artistic expression has been around since the beginning of humankind, starting from the basic shapes and forms painted along the side of cave walls. They depicted hunting, human affection, families, and other tribe members. These paintings were drawn up with only the tools available to the cave people, sticks, mud, berries, and other natural stain. As centuries passed, the tools became more advanced by creating paints and other colors aside from brown and red. It started to become more common for claws to have all sorts of pigments. Soon, oil paints, clay sculptures, and other means of artistic expression began appearing in Europe and Asia. Each art became more intricate and utilized the technology available to the peoples. Now, in our present day, we have more resources available to us, such as computers, projectors, lasers, pen tablets, cameras, and the list really goes on. This has broadened and multiplied the types of art humans can now create and express themselves with. In the art classroom, we can introduce things like digital cameras to the students. Digital cameras nowadays can do all kinds of things, like add distortions to pictures for creative effect just by pressing a few buttons. They can also pair as video and sound recorders now, being able to hold many minutes, even a few hours of footage in one memory card, which was never common without cassette tapes until recently. We can use pen tablets and computers to make digital art, manipulated by our own drawing skills onto the computer screens with just a quick swipe of a stylus pen over the surface. There are other programs out there on the internet made specifically for schools, such as GIMP, Google SketchUp, or Adobe Creative Suites. Students also can learn how to make 3D videos with ease and add special effects like glowing light swirls all over a picture or a movie clip. Without allowing all of this technology to be available to us, our pupils lack the modern creations that could be their own. We fail in providing our students with the opportunity to have all current utilities to express themselves. How will our future artists learn to create if we don't first provide the tools for the changing horizons of artistic expression?